Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, S&P 500 E-mini futures. This is a daily chart, and the thing I want to impress upon you is how many opportunities the bears have had to break through the daily mid-band. And you'll see that reflected in the pivot report that I sent out this morning. I've been discussing it with the subscribers. The charts of the day are already out. The two charts I'm going to show you here. And the captions mention the multiple tests of the daily mid-band. That's the green line. So dating back to, you know, dating back to August the 2nd. We spent four days making lows at or below the daily mid-band, every time rejected. Again, on the 10th, the 11th, and then again for the past, well, no, that's a nine-day simple, but still. Now, for the, what's key is the past four sessions. In three of the last four sessions, starting on the 17th, mid-band, 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 each time rejected. And on Friday and Monday, they reflected the lows of the day. And what that created on a 30-minute chart is a support area at 72.73. So you can see the move Friday. Here's your mid-band test Friday. Here's your mid-band test Monday. Both rejected. Um, you had an inability to hold last week's daily pivot there at 77.20. And what you saw yesterday was you saw a Globex high up in this 84 area. Then you saw a move down um, early off the open to test mid-band on the daily, which held. You had five really violent moves up and down in the market yesterday. I mean, and I didn't see any news to reflect any of those moves, and neither did anybody else. So what you have is a real battle there in defending the mid-band and trying to defend the 84 area, the two areas we've been discussing for some time. Um, the weekly pivot, daily pivot, even VWAP, things like that, didn't really play into the equation yesterday um, until later. The violent moves were between 84 and, and, and the lows. What we've seen in the overnight tonight is a move back. So here's da daily pivot and weekly pivot are linked up again. They're not moving because we're not moving. You saw support here early in the evening, and we've seen a push above. The push above has broken over 2184. 2184 has been an issue for this market going back to last week. Very similar to how 2168.69 had been an issue for this market a few weeks ago. What the bulls need to do now is they need to convert this area to support. So any test back here of 84 needs to hold for the bulls. They want to hold 84, take out the all-time high up at 90.75, and move towards 2200. That's a very achievable goal for the bulls today. What the bears want is a move up that gets rejected. It's a head fake, whatever you want to call it, and it pushes back down. Here's the trick. If you get that move, then what you need to see, and you've seen this on the daily chart in years past when, um, when we start Bollinger Band rides. You see a violent move up and a hard reversal down. That hard reversal is going to have to take out last week's low here at 2165 half and seal that as resistance. Now, all of this doesn't have to happen today, but it certainly has to happen by midweek. Otherwise, what the bulls are going to find themselves in is a position where they're buying dips, they're grinding the market higher, and we're printing things with 22 ahead of them. And that's the that, that is the hole they have dug for themselves by failing to take out the mid-band every day, or every time rather, that it's been tested since August the 2nd. That's 20 days of futility, 20 calendar days of futility. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Follow us over at Twitter, at Princeton Trader. Come check out the website, PrincetonTrader.com. Come check out our chat room. We would love to meet you. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.